Hi Virgo, this is Marina and you're watching your monthly horoscope for October 2017. And this is one of the most important months during this year because we have such an important event. We're talking about the ingression of Jupiter which on the 10th of October will enter Scorpio and will stay there for the next 12 months. This is extremely important because Jupiter is the planet of success and opportunities and growth and abundance and the place where Jupiter transits our birth chart, the aspects that it makes with our personal planets will show us how we can benefit um, from what we can benefit, where we can be successful during this one year. So that's why this is extremely important. And we're going to have a special workshop um, or video about this topic and we're going to talk in details about that. But for now you should know that Jupiter will enter your third house. Scorpio is in your third house and all these opportunities and growth and success can be related with your contacts, with your intellectual work, with opportunities to travel, to learn new things, to start a new education, um, you know, to have more friends, to meet with more people. Jupiter in third house can bring abundance in these areas of your life and can help you to manifest your desires which are related to these topics. Okay, so now let's start with the sun because we know that the sun shows us the most important area during the month for us. And until the 22nd, the sun is in Libra, which is your second house. It's a time when you should focus on material things. It's time to be practical, to be grounded, to be in touch with reality. Um, for example, focus on your finances, put order in your finances, organize things. Um, you can find new ways to earn money. You can improve your situation. And after the 23rd, the sun enters Scorpio and third house. It will join Jupiter there. Extremely important combination. And um, this is a wonderful transit to be more communicative to initiate uh, new conversations, new contacts, to have some inspiring ideas which can be related to the future because Jupiter is there as well. Um, you might be really inspired and uh, actually all of these ideas can be very successful. It's a great time to travel, it's a great time to spend time with friends, to spend time on some intellectual activities, um, all of these things can be very productive. Next we have Mercury which until the 16th is in Libra and your second house and it can make your mind really focused on material things. Um, it can make you really concentrated to organize um, willing actually to put order in your finances or to plan your expenses or you know to find some solutions to improve your financial situation but generally it's about you know thinking about resources and finances and material stuff and after the 17th of October to, uh, sorry, Mercury will enter Scorpio in your third house which is a very good combination because Mercury rules traditionally third house that's why it's extremely strong when it transits this house and it's great for your contacts for your communications for uh, intellectual work for um, for example people who need to travel uh, or who would like to travel this is a great transit or uh, you know you can receive an important information solve some document issues um, all of these activities can be uh, very fluent, very, uh, very smooth. Next we have Venus, which is, you know, the planet of entertainment and joy and beauty and harmony. And until the 13th, basically this is almost half of the month, Venus is in your own sign. Venus is in Virgo in your first house, which is great. Um, it may help you to feel more attractive, especially for women. They may feel very beautiful. It's a great time to change your appearance, um, to change your haircut or just to, you know, uh, change your, buy some new clothes or, you know, change your outfit. You may feel very attractive to others. You might feel, you know, uh, generally more magnetic, more 
uh, you know, you can attract more attention from others. You may feel very well, you may feel very happy and even be more emotional, which is not so typical for Virgo. So a great transit. And um, after the 14th, Venus enters Libra in your second house, which is also actually a harmonious combination because Venus is the traditional ruler of second house. It's very strong there and it can improve your financial situation. It can help you to find some solutions or to receive support from others, to receive some gifts or financial help or just to spend some money on uh, things that you love. Next we have Mars, the planet of action and will and risks and aggression and until the 21st Mars is in Virgo in your first house. Of course this is very strong and important transit. Everything which is in your first house becomes really important to you and active and uh, you know everyone around you can see it. And Mars is traditionally related with your uh, with, uh, with first house. That's why the transit there is so obvious and everyone can see it. And um, it's a time to be more active. It's a time to take some risks, to be more initiative. Sometimes you might be a little bit more aggressive or too impulsive. That's the downside, the challenging side. But generally this is the time, you know, to do some real things and be, uh, be more brave. After the 22nd, Mars will enter Libra in your second house, which can make you more focused on finances and resources and money. And you may, you know, focus your efforts and work on that. It's time, you know, to work hard for that, um, to, you know, put a lot of efforts on this. Sometimes Mars is related with taking risks, being too impulsive. So be careful in terms of some financial decisions. Um, you know, don't rush things too much. Take time and uh, yeah, try to be more objective, not so impulsive when you take financial decisions after the 22nd. We also have two lunations during this month. We have a full moon on the 5th of October which is in Aries and Libra. For you, this is in your eighth and second house. And this full moon can activate very much the topic about your finances and resources. And you need to find the balance between how much you spend and how much you earn, or some investments that you would like to make, or how much you are taking from others and how much you are giving, um, you know, balance your energy and so on. And finally, we have a new moon on the 19th in Libra, which is in your second house. And this is a great time to start some new activities, which will improve your financial situation. Um, you know, focus very much on this area, be persistent on the things that you would like to achieve or try to improve your health, start some things that will help you to improve your physical condition and feel more vital, more uh, you know, stronger than uh, before. Okay, so these were the most important astrological events during the month. Thank you very much for watching this video.